Hi, I'm John Fry. I'm the owner here at Project Bike in Bend, Oregon. Today, we're going to show you how to install Cushcore in your mountain bike tires. Once you learn the tips and tricks, you'll find it's really straightforward and almost anybody can do it at home. Gather up the right tools for the job. Here's everything you'll need. A set of tire levers, a large round trash can, a tool with a soft handle like this hammer, a spray bottle filled with water and a little dish soap, some tubeless tire sealant, an air compressor or a floor pump, the tire we're installing today has a downhill casing and a wire bead, but the process is the same for any tubeless tire. It's time for step one. Let's check the rim tape. Nine times out of 10, if you install a tubeless setup and it leaks, it's because there's an issue with the tape. So you always wanna make sure that there's no holes, no gaps, and that the tape goes from edge to edge. Once we've checked the tape, it's time for step two, which is to install the Cush Core air valve. Drop the air valve in, put on the O-ring, and install your lock nut, beveled side down. Moving on to step three, it's now time to install Cushcore on the wheel. First, you'll need a tool with a soft handle like this hammer, and next you're gonna need the Cushcore. Set Cushcore in the bead at the bottom of the wheel. Use the hammer to keep Cushcore in place and stretch the Cushcore around the rim. Don't be afraid to stretch Cushcore. It's designed to be tight and actually stretches pretty easily. Next, go around the rim and make sure the bead is seated all the way around. Just snap it into place and make sure it's square or golden. For step four, we're gonna install the wheel and cush core inside the tire. First, spray a little soapy water inside the tire. This will help the cush core slide in the channel easier. Don't be afraid to push down on the wheel and pull up on the tire. This will give you a little bit more slack up at the top to help the bead pop over. For step five, we're gonna install the tire bead on the rim. For this, it's a lot easier if you use a trash can to help support the wheel. It doesn't make contact with the tire and gives you a nice work surface. Here's the first trick. It's the roll and tuck technique. Work across the wheel and pull the tire towards you and roll the tire and cush core away from you until the bead snaps into place. You wanna continue with the roll and tuck technique until the tire is just about as tight as you can get it with just using your bare hands. Next, we're gonna take one bite with a tire lever and start getting the bead tighter. First, take one small bite. Now that the bead is nice and tight, grab the soapy water and spray it all the way around the tire. Here's the next trick. It's dropping the bead. A lot of people will try to use brute force to finish installing the tire at this point, but if you grab a tire lever and force the bead into the channel of the rim, it frees up a lot of slack to make the rest of the tire installation way easier. Press the point of your tire lever straight down on the bead. This will snap the bead into the channel on the rim. If you notice the bead starting to pop up, take another bite with your tire lever up top, then work your way back and push the bead of the tire down into the rim channel. Once you've got the bead of the tire dropped into the channel of the rim almost all the way around, you're free to finish up this last bit of tire. Use an extra tire lever if needed. Next, let's flip the wheel over and repeat this process on the other side. Once you finish snapping in the other side, you want to inflate the tire just enough to make sure that you can tell that both beads are totally seated all the way around on both sides. After the bead is set, Remove the valve core using the supplied tool. This will let all the air out. Next, we're gonna add sealant. Start by giving your sealant a little shake. Then, you're gonna to wanna to draw in your sealant into your syringe. Use the same amount of sealant you'd normally use without Cush Core. Position the valve about 45 degrees. This will help the sealant go into the tire and rest at the bottom versus shooting out when you pull the hose off. Once you've injected the sealant, remove the hose and reinstall the valve core using the supplied valve core tool. Reinflate the tire and set to your desired pressure. It's time to go ride. Cushcore recommends setting it up on front and rear wheels together. So if this is your first time trying it, try setting it up on both wheels to see what Cushcore can do for you.